Hey everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts where I do crafts in my pajamas. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sarah and I have two winter DIYs for you guys today. I'm just repurposing this one that I had done for Christmas. As you can see here on the back, that purple spot, um, that's how you know at Home Depot that the wood is 75% off. At my store, they have um, just a pile of wood on a cart but if you don't see that you can ask them if they have any in the back and usually they have a bunch that you can choose from back there um so I get it for really really cheap and this piece was just the end of a piece that I used um like a big long piece and it was just the end that I cut off I didn't need that much but anyway I just wanted to use the back so I could transition my Christmas decor into winter and I'm just using some sticky stencils that I have from Walmart years ago. I haven't seen them at Walmart in a long time but I have seen these on the Michaels website if you're looking for this specific font. Um, so I'm just writing let's get cozy. Don't worry I don't show it here but I did remember to go back and put the apostrophe in let's afterwards. Um, but then this stencil that I'm using for the word cozy is from Walmart. I really love this font as well. Um, I like to use the pencil first and then go over everything with a paint pen. I think it just comes out nicer, doesn't bleed through as much, and all of that. This paint pen I'm using is the Posca brand. I'll try to leave a link in the description. I got these on Amazon like years ago and they're just really, really good quality. I absolutely love them. And then I just went in with a little bit of sandpaper and distressed a little bit. I always do that. I just like the look. Of course, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Next, I am using some stencils from Michaels. These just have a pretty design. Um, and they came in a big pack of stencils, but you can get all kinds of different designs and stuff. Um, at Michaels or Hobby Lobby or wherever and I'm just putting a few pretty designs around the word cozy because I thought it needed a little extra something. Then I just went back in with my sandpaper on top of those spots and that's all I did for this one. Do you guys think I needed something a little more on this one or do you like how it turned out? Next, I have an old tag sign that I did for Christmas. I didn't like how it turned out. It looked like this. Um, well, okay, I guess I cut off part of it. But anyway, it just was not my favorite. So I decided to repurpose it to going into winter. And I just sanded everything down, took everything off. And I'm using that same white wave really chalk paint and covering the whole entire tag. This tag is from Dollar Tree. And I just used the back originally. Um... So that's what I'm painting over again, but if I want to, I can even do the other side later. I just have to sand off the glitter from the original sign. Now I have this word home that I freehanded from a different sign or a different project that I did in the past. And I decided to take that and use it on here. So I'm just using that same stencil from Walmart to write let's stay. And I did go back and put the apostrophe in this one as well. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, but then um, I'm just doing that with pencil again and going back in with my paint marker. And then for the home part, I just had already scribbled pencil on the back and used that to transfer. I really want to get some of that transfer paper um, to try out. I think it would be a lot easier than scribbling pencil on the back. And I'm also going to be trying out my Cricut soon in my next video, hopefully. So stay tuned for that as well. And stick to the end of the video to see how you can enter into the giveaway. Or I might tell you in a second. I don't know. So I'm just going over this with a mechanical pencil. I just don't have the lead out, so I'm just using the plastic part to push down and transfer the word. And as you can see here, it leaves a light... Um, outline of the word and I just go in with my paint marker and do um, just fill in all of the letters. Now you guys this <laughs> I after I filled in all the letters it looked really pretty but of course I had to distress everything but I went a little nutso and just way overboard and Zach said it looked like someone ran over it with a tire <laughs> and I kind of agreed so I decided <laughs> to just <laughs> paint white back over the part that I distressed and then I had to like go back over 
the letters too so just know that even us on youtube doing our crafts and everything it's a lot of trial and error it looks like it's quick and easy in the video because we speed everything up but trust me it takes a long time to do all of the crafts that i do and sometimes i just don't like how they come out and i pretty much had to redo this entire sign so don't get discouraged if you're new or even if you're not because I've been crafting for years already and I still make things that just look terrible and I just hate them so <laughs> just keep going and you'll get some things that you like too so anyway I had to go back over with the white and then I do go back over the letters later um and my paint marker was running out, so I had to use a Sharpie. And then I just went ahead and distressed the letters a tiny bit with um, some more of that white paint. Now right here I'm making a bow with some buffalo plaid ribbon that I got from Walmart. It was like $2. It was at Christmas time. I couldn't find any more. I wish I got more because this one's almost gone. Um, but I just added a little twine hanger to the top and then my bow. Super simple. I just made two loops to make a double bow and wrap some around the middle part and then made my little tails. And here you see me going back over and distressing the letters after I added um, after I went back over them with a sharpie and I think it came out so much better but this is how it came out let me know if you like it or if you liked it better before it was distressed baby shark Daddy shark, daddy shark, daddy shark, daddy shark, Now I will be doing a giveaway. Um, I wanted to give away a few more things since hitting 10,000 subscribers. I know I did the Arteza giveaway, but I just wanted to send out a few things like crafting supplies and maybe something that I've made to one winner so just comment giveaway down below that's all you have to do also don't forget that i have a new facebook group where i just post stuff on crafts and you guys can show me your crafts that you've been working on too also you guys um pay attention to my stories tomorrow because i'll show you what i'm giving away in the giveaway um there and i will see you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching bye